Hello and welcome to the course. My name is Octoman from OctomanGames.com and in this course you will learn how to create a hangman game with the Unity engine in a 2D game space. Nobody holds you back to create a 3D game, so it's totally up to you. So what will you learn? You will learn how to create simple buttons to interact with. You, we will learn at the very end of the course how to save stats on uh, the local drive or somewhere wherever some kind of an asset file is going to live in. So we learn how about uh, scriptable objects, lists, floats, integers, letters and letter capitalization. We're gonna learn a bunch more uh, like animations and so on. So what is the result of the game in the end? Well, let me start a round. As we can tell, we have multiple buttons in the top left and the top right corner. We're gonna learn how to create a timer. We're gonna learn um, how to set up a word based on the actual letters of the search word. We're gonna learn about categories and how to create them, as well as making all letters, for example, uppercase letters. So they will fit with our virtual keyboard. Speaking of the virtual keyboard, we are going to create and fill all these buttons automatically to contain all the letters necessary. So when also they understand whenever we press an O, we're gonna get a response for that. So we can test against that. We can also see do we have won the game already or even not. We always return that value whenever the game is well not solved or the, um, the word is still empty. Also, we learn about animations, like we animate them petals. So whenever we make a mistake, like this one, we're gonna rip off one of the petals of that, which are counting as mistakes. Also, we're gonna take a look into petals or in panels, like panel animation. We can go back to the menu and we can restart the round if we want to. We have a closed panel animation and we also have a stats panel over there. So we can easily go into that, check our current stats and go back to, well, the content we need. Whenever we win the game, we're gonna get another panel, which is going from top to bottom and show us how hey, you won. And uh, you can put in all the other stats um, from the current round into a text field over there. And now let's solve that puzzle. So I believe the search word is a fish. So the you won panel will come down over there. We have a f total of four panels in the end. You can make more or less, however you please and like. And uh, we could implement the stats over here. The timer will automatically stop and it will be written inside our stats. When we now go back over here, we're gonna see we have a total of wins of one, total losses zero, a 100% win rate, as well as how many plays we have done, as well as how long did it took in seconds to, ac to actually uh, finalize the game. Also, the stats will be written over here in the stats panel when we play a new round. We can easily at any time go back. We can try to find uh, another um, yeah, animal over here, maybe some kind of a bird or I don't know all of the words I just checked in, but let's try to, I believe it's a giraffe, um, but let me show you what's happening when we lose. So I'm gonna use anything. From the bottom now will come a game over screen. So in this game over screen, we can also put in uh, different stats and uh, stuff like that. So all of that is going to happen over here. There's one thing I uh, just see as an issue over there, which is this seconds over here, but I believe you will come across that. And whenever we have a lose, of course, we don't want to overwrite the actual um, stats over there. For this, I might go and make a quick note over that later on. However, um, as you can see, all the petals are ripped off. The game literally is over. And uh, since we can close the actual panels, like the close uh, the game over panel and the other one, you might want to get rid of the close uh, button in one of them panels and then you're good to go. So in the final end, you have a fully functional working game with uh, different categories to pick from. So whenever we say we want to restart a round, it might be picked another category, in this case, food. And uh, so we can uh, take a look if maybe we look for an apple or something like that. And the stats will be overridden. So we can close that, can open the stats, can see, okay, we got this one win rate because, well, we round this number up or down and we also get the stats 
in here. So if that course looks like it is for you, then feel free to join me on the journey on how to create a hangman game in Unity. All the graphics of the game you, uh, or the, the content used inside this game are um, inside the course. So you can work with them or work with your own. Totally up to you how you want that. So see you in course and let's learn together.